Welcome to Prayer and Coffee. In Matthew 11, Jesus said, The kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. In Luke 12, The time is coming when everything that is covered up will be revealed, and all that is in secret will be made known to all. Whatever you have said in the dark will be heard in the light, and what you have whispered behind closed doors will be shouted from the housetops for all to hear. Ephesians 5, But all things that are exposed are made manifest by the light. For whatever makes manifest is light. Therefore he says, Awake, you who sleep, arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. See that you walk circumspectly, not as fools but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Let me say it again. Let me remind you that we are in the middle of a spiritual storm, a battle that has settled over our nation and every nation where the church is. It's a violent collision of good and evil, light and darkness, life and death, the church and the gates of hell. And the heavenlies are filled with supernatural clashes. There are battles being waged on a supernatural level in our culture, in Washington, D.C., in the media, in the church, as Holy Spirit continues to expose and indict sin. The warfare is intense, and demons are manifesting in many ways, including deception, violent deception, and violence in our streets. But don't be discouraged. It's Sunday. The church will be gathering today with worship to God and strength from His Word and encouragement from one another in the body of Christ. God's presence is being revealed, and those who have opposed Him will be dealt with. At the same time, those churches and pastors who are welcoming His presence will begin to see His glory fill the house. It will fill the house of God like the dedication of the temple in Second Chronicles 7. God's glory, God's presence is here. Look for something to change soon. Let's pray. Lord, I come boldly to the throne of grace and ask that you shine your intense and holy light in my life and in my heart. Put a guard on my mouth and my thoughts and keep my feet from stumbling. Lord, forgive me from any iniquity and give me this day my daily bread. I can see this is your season for pulling back the curtain on sin in culture, in newsrooms, in media, uh, in, uh, in government, Lord, in, in all places where it's been covered up. I stand in the gap and ask that souls in the darkness would be saved. Let them encounter you, Lord. I ask that eyes would be opened. Let them see what is happening and run to you, Jesus, for salvation. As the darkness of this world is exposed, let souls run to your light. Lord, there are times that your presence is what I need. Let today be that day. As we gather in your house, Lord, I want to meet you. I want to soak in your presence. And Lord, that you would deliver your church from all fears and confusion and anxiety and give us clarity. Lord, that we would lay aside everything else and seek Jesus, your presence, Lord, as we pray in your name. Amen.